Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. Yes, talk shows have more than one person we know. Sets being built. I'm looking right at it. Looks pretty awesome. It's coming along soon. Soon. Let's hit the headlines. Our first story today on Tomorrow Daily is a subject we love to talk about 3D printed prosthetics. And this time around, this robotic hand can give you a handshake. Rob Scharf is a Delft University of Technology graduate with an interesting new project, a soft hand that has the ability to gauge the grip of the person shaking it and adjust itself accordingly. This prosthetic was a product of his soft robotics research project, which aims to find ways to integrate robots with tactile materials so that robot-human interactions are more natural and comfortable to people. So how does it work? Air chambers inside the hand's palm transfer air to the fingers in the robotic hand when it gets squeezed. So when a person reaches out and shakes that robotic hand, the grip increases or decreases depending on how hard or soft that handshake is. It's currently a prototype, but Scarf thinks that this can be used beyond simple prosthetics. You can use it in orthotics or maybe even physical therapy, which is pretty amazing, all things considered. Okay, so robotics and physical therapy uh, means doctors. And speaking of doctors, we have to talk about this kind of cool wearable that might change the way doctors do surgery. And it's not Google Glass. This is Vivi, and it's a simple plastic device that can be clipped onto a headband. It has one single goal, which is to deliver crucial, easy to reference information about a patient's vital signs on a doctor's operating table. It was developed by Method, a company started by two anesthetists who felt that other wearables were either too cumbersome or too complicated for the task. They thought about using existing wearables like Google Glass, but the voice commands and swiping to navigate doesn't quite translate well to operating rooms, which can be messy sometimes and noisy. Plus, a lot of doctors already wear glasses or protective gear over their eyes during operations. Vivi, they say, offers only the core data a doctor needs and can act as a notification device if vitals change suddenly. Method says a smartphone app will allow doctors to choose which patient vitals they need to keep an eye on and will keep doctors' eyes on the patient instead of constantly looking away during a procedure. Vivi isn't exactly trying to redefine the wearable space, but that's okay. They really just want to offer a companion device for doctors to use during surgery. They also think they might be able to use it for things like cyclists and runners who want to check their vitals while they're on the go. All right, our last story today has nothing to do with future technology, but honestly, it was just so cool, I couldn't not share it with you. Let's talk about this LEGO combination safe. Jason Alleman from JK Brickworks made a fully functional combination safe out of LEGOs. It's a three combo lock and a tour of the inside of the creation shows the mechanisms and how he got them to work. The way he put together the safe makes it pretty tough to disassemble, but the area for keeping values is also pretty small. It only holds a few of Alleman's gold bars. I mean bricks. If you forget your combination, or if you are the worst cat burglar in the world, you can break the safe by forcefully chucking it into the ground, but you'll probably break some pieces in the process. Brickworks has the full build up on their site right now, so you can get to work right away if you need to lock up your smallest valuables. All right, those are our headlines. Let's move on to crowdfunding. <laughs> Scanners that can create super accurate, high quality resolution 3D models can be pretty expensive. I mean, we're talking around at least $10,000, but Eora 3D wants to change that. Eora 3D Scanner is a small portable scanner that's powered by your Android or iOS smartphone. They say their scans are precise to sub 100 microns with a resolution of up to 8 million vertices. That's no small feat considering how tiny the device itself is. The app is meant to be easy to use and models can be stored in the cloud with Dropbox integration built in. It uses a green laser for scanning as opposed to the standard red laser that you might have seen before and doesn't require a turntable to 3D scan an object, although you can add that in the campaign if you would like one. They wanted $80,000 for the campaign and Eora 3D has blown right past that goal with over $430,000 raised as of right now with just 23 days left in the campaign. And the price, well, wildly reasonable at just 229 bucks, which is the early bird backer level currently available. And once it hits retail, they expect to sell Eora 3D for $330. So it's a nice savings. And honestly, I feel like I kind of want to back this, even though I have no idea what I would use it for. But, you know, I guess that's the mark of a really good crowdfunding campaign. All right, guys, that's it for Back at Her Hack It. Let's check out your pretty, pretty pictures. 
today's photographer is Ingo, who took this with his Galaxy S5. He wrote to us and he said, hey guys, I just wanted to share a photo I took with my Galaxy S5. I took this picture while taking family on a tour of the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, which is immersed like it is most days by Carl the Fog. You have my permission to use the photo. Looking forward to the new set and stories. Best, Ingo. Ingo, this picture is amazing. It kind of reminds me of a little, you got, I mean, the fog's a little silent, hillish, it's sort of creepy, it kind of fits in with fall. It's super good and appropriate for this time of year. Uh, if you guys want to submit your photography to be considered to be featured in Photographer of the Day, you can email us tomorrow at CNET.com, send us your picture, send us your name, give us permission to use your picture, and also tell us a little story about your photo because we love stories. If you guys want to find us online, we're TomorrowDaily.com. If you'd like to share the show with a friend, enemy, or frenemy, Either way, we appreciate it. And of course, you can find us on social media at Tomorrow Daily on places like Facebook and Twitter. And I am Ashley Eskeva on Twitter. And producer Logan is at Logan Moy. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird science fact meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>